Friday. And of course, uh, we have Nell, a volunteer with the MSPCA, and Brittany Pickle with the MSPCA. And this fine young gentleman, who do we have here, Brittany? This is Dewey. He is a nine year old Havanese. He is adorable and sweet and outgoing, and he's actually part of a bonded pair. So even if you want to adopt this lovely man, you have to have both him and his litter mate, Cody, who, well, not litter mate, they're just bonded. They've been together forever. Cody is an 11 year old. Maltese, who is currently having his ACL surgery today at Angel Memorial in Boston. So that's why, unfortunately, Dewey is here by himself. So does that happen often, that dogs who are raised together really bond and yes. kind of need to stay together? Yes, it's, it's all dependent on, we get a lot of pairs and we will decide whether or not it's safe or beneficial for them to be together if they're so stressed out when they're separated that they're, you know, almost causing harm to themselves by being so anxious ridden, but um, Dewey is actually being okay, but he is panting and showing a lot of signs that he's a little stressed out, and he has been since Cody left yesterday. So we know that he really, really, really wants to be with his Exactly, he his needs his, his best friend. So what can you tell me um, about, about this kind of dog's temperament? I mean, he's been in, in the studio for a few minutes. He is so sweet, he's so adorable, he's very attentive, he's soft. Um, you know, any special attention that he needs besides uh, being with his best friend, Cody? No, he's great. Um, I think he would be fine with adults, with children. Um, but Cody, maybe not so much because he is going to have to have six weeks of cage rest post-surgery. Um, but basically, they just need a family. They were with one family their whole lives, and then they decided they wanted to travel and rehomed them, but then that home wasn't a good match, so now they're with us. We want to make sure that this next home is their forever home. We don't want to have to stress them out by transitioning again. Wonderful. Would you suggest they go to a home that doesn't already have pets or doesn't already have dogs? They actually probably could go to a home with other dogs. We don't know how he'd do with cats, either of them, Cody or Dewey, but with dogs, they seem pretty good, so they could go together or to a home with other dogs if they already have them Absolutely. with a good meet and greet. But he's, he's so super well behaved. He's such so nice. But again, uh, comes as a parent, as you said, uh, Cody's getting his surgery today mm -hmm. um, and will have to be on six weeks of rest. So will he be able to be adopted during that period? Yes. So our plan is to put a Go crate away. in the kennel with so Dewey will be able to have free reign of it and still be able to be with Cody. But Cody will have to just be kept to five to 10 minute walks a day just to go to the bathroom. And then he'll gradually build up to 20 minute walks after six weeks so they can still be together. Wonderful, excellent. Well, oh. <laughs> Dewey, I know it's so exciting. You are just being so good. We'll only keep you on for just a few more minutes, okay? Um, anything else uh, that people need to, to know when it comes to, to this guy? Um, he really is so sweet. He's great. I mean, he obviously, both the Maltese and the Havanese are needing to have grooming done, so he's gonna have to have regular grooming so he doesn't get all long and matted. They don't have any medical issues besides the fact that um, the knee surgery that Cody's having, but Dewey seems in great health. Regular blood work is recommended for senior dogs because just because they don't seem physically having any issues, that doesn't mean that there's not something underlying because animals by nature don't show pain until it's kind of too far gone. Right. So they do require extra medical care since they're 9 and 11 years old. But otherwise, no, he's fantastic. Wonderful. Well, Dewey, it was so nice to meet you. And again, uh, he's uh, available for view and, and for, um, for checking out at the MSPCA yeah, in Yeah, Cody will be back soon. So you'll be able to see Cody too. Wonderful. And does Cody look just like him? Or he no, Cody's a, a little bit smaller, fatter, and white. So oh. actually the exact opposite. <laughs> <laughs> the odd couple, right? Yeah. <laughs> All right, my friend, it was really nice to meet you. Now we're going to see... Jazzy. Lee. Jazzy, who is a lop. So Jazzy is... Um, oh, look at his little face. She is a five-year-old female lop. She just came in yesterday because the family was having some financial issues and was unable to afford taking care of her in addition to the medical care that they were having in their own house. Um, she's needing to be spayed still. So being five years old and intact, we always recommend getting your rabbit spayed under the age of one or two because it's, it's kind of dangerous the more they're alive that they're not spayed or neutered. Sure. Um, so we're going to get that done as soon as possible. But she seems really great. She apparently lived with a golden retriever that she got along well with. Really? Which is awesome. You never really know how a prey animal is going to do with a dog. But she was great. Um, there was also older children in the family, so I don't know that I'd recommend her going home with small kids since okay. she's not used to that kind of more rougher handling. Exactly. But um, the rabbit obviously can be handled, can be, can you, can you pick up a rabbit and cuddle them like a, like a cat or a dog? They're not always, they don't like to be in the air. They learn all of the what they need to know through their feet, through the vibrations on the ground. So if a predator was coming, they would know. So when they're up in the air and they don't have that, it stresses them out. Interesting. So a lot of rabbits don't like to be picked up and held, but they do like to be cuddled. Like if they're sitting next to you or if you let them out to free roam, they'll come right up and sit in your lap. 
but not really in the air, which is understandable. Interesting, and that's interesting what you said about they, they learn through the vibrations in the mm -hmm. ground. That's kind of fascinating. Which is why most prey animals don't like to be carried around in the air because they don't know when something's coming. Interesting, so they can't kind of feel what's going on. And mm -hmm. does, that, that, does that come into play at all when they're getting used to a new location, a new, um, a new home? Yeah, I mean, there's all kinds of stressful factors involved with being rehomed or especially like coming to the shelter because there's all kinds of rabbits around them thumping. That's, they thump when they're mad, we hear that. She hasn't done that yet. She seems pretty awesome, actually. She's very relaxed and she's very pretty. She is very pretty. She was kept as an outdoor rabbit um, and she had bot fly. She had a bot fly under her skin that she had to have surgically oh. removed. And that's just leading into one of the many reasons we always recommend rabbits be indoor rabbits. Exactly. They're domesticated pets. They're not, you know, wild rabbits that can survive outside. She did, obviously, she had to have surgery for that. So just another reason to keep your bunnies inside. Sure, and as, as we've talked about on the show before, um, you know, I think the days of having that rabbit in the hutch in the backyard are certainly over. It's, it's bringing them in the house and they can be litter box trained. Yeah, and, and she's they can, very good with that. Wonderful. So uh, any, any other special um, re you know, requirements for, do you recommend that she goes to a home that, that is familiar with rabbits, that has had rabbits as pets before? I would say she could probably be okay um, with someone that hasn't had one before, as long as it's not small children. Um, it could be an adult, could be older children, because that's what she's used to living with. And if they have other pets, obviously we don't want to let them just rush up to her, but she might do well in a home that has other animals which a lot of rabbits wouldn't normally do well with. Wonderful. And again, the procedure for uh, adopting um, an animal like Dazzy, what do folks have to do to get qualified to take her home? They can come to the shelter and meet her. If you have another rabbit that you're possibly trying to introduce her to, we can do a rabbit meet at the shelter. And then we have you fill out the application and just make sure you bring in a picture of the cage or X-Pen, whatever you're planning on keeping her in. Great. And do, do they have to be caged at night? Is that recommended? She's a wire chewer, it says, in oh. her previous home, so we wouldn't want you to leave her roaming around your house. Yeah, definitely not. Until you're sure that it's all <laughs> rabbit-proofed, which Absolutely. can be kind of hard. So, yeah, she would probably want to be in a pen at the very least at night. Excellent. Well, Jazzy, it was so nice to meet you. And Brittany, mm -hmm. thank you so much uh, for, for coming on, Thanks as always, and bringing us, us these pets. And of course, uh, this is our Adoptable Pet Friday. Both, uh, both the animals that you saw today are looking for their forever homes. You can stop by the MSPCA 1577 Falmouth Road that's right across from the Bell Tower Mall in Centerville, and uh, maybe you'll find your new best friend. Yes, hopefully. Right? Excellent. Well, thank you so much, and we'll be back with more Barnstable this morning.